15. Ford inside, this time against Lyman. Puts it up, good and uh -oh. a foul. Away, taking that away from Policiccio. Pierce for three. Oh, and that's what you cannot do. About it, and Coach Sobolewski said, oh, she just bruises easy. Yeah, I know, that was eight. <laughs> Up to a seven point lead for the Bengals. Three pointer on the way for Salvatore. Set it up. Salvatore gets the friendly oh. bounce. Salvatore finding for Rents. Here comes that second half barrage. And was able to get to the spot first. Ford inside. Drives, oh. hangs, and scores. What a nice left hand. Ford, double team, gets it away. McCorkle. Oh, box out by Ali Ford. Ferenc for three. Book oh, it. Oh, that's five minutes away here from heading to the big dance. Pretty exciting. Ferenc for three. Yes. Oh. Using the shot clock. Salvatore oh. with the dagger. Vera DeRay shot blocked by Ford. For the season, Idaho is picked six by the coaches, eight by the media. What was their response? Shut up and dance with me. Idaho's going to the NCAA tournament. As the coaches exchange pleasant exchanges there, and we watch this Idaho team celebrate. They should celebrate. What a season in the books. Big second half for Idaho. They were down by three at the intermission but outscored the Bengals 44 to 29 in the second half. As we mentioned earlier, Idaho has been a big second half team throughout this tournament, and they did it again here. They made baskets when it counts, and that's what this Idaho State team really struggled with down the stretch, is they just couldn't score. They, they couldn't get to the basket. You gotta credit Idaho's defense. So Idaho, 24 and nine, advances to the NCAA tournament, Idaho State, 18 and 15 at this point. And so we are joined now by head coach John Newley. And uh, coach, first of all, uh, congratulations on this uh, championship. Thank you, thank you. Well deserved, well deserved. Well, uh, that's a great effort. And again, as you have throughout the tournament, a big second half being the difference. Yeah, we thought we could get them in the second half. You know, it's tough to win those four games, um, four games, you know, in the, in the time. And we thought we could dominate the second half and we really came out and did. Certainly did. Uh, first of all, it was uh, Michaela who had the big second half, uh, five points at the intermission, ended up with uh, uh, 18 points, so 13 in the second half, including a big third quarter. Yeah, yeah, that foul trouble hurt her, you know, early. We had to take her out, which is tough on our offense right now, but um, everybody else stepped it up nicely. Talk about Michaela Francis' uh, development, because here's a woman who averaged less than 10 points coming into this tournament and averaged 20 points here <laughs> in this event. What a way to step up as a freshman, man. It's but you know, her, both her parents are coaches. Her mom's a college coach. Her dad helps out there and is a high school coach. You know what? She she's comes from basketball blood, man. And and uh, you know, she's got ice water in her veins. Allie Ford, a rocket Gibraltar in the interior. Absolutely, Allie came up huge in this tournament, man. Best she's played all year long. And then again, Carly Wilson. I was <laughs> joking with Krista about the fact that, like the Hollywood Walk of Fame, you could etch her name into the free throw uh, line uh, the way she. Had to shoot, what, uh, 12 free throws in that fourth quarter, but she made all but one of them, keeping Idaho State at bay. Whew, we needed them, too, the way they were throwing threes in, man. That was crazy. Uh, uh, one of the other things, too, you, you, you did defensively a great job. I thought Brooke Blair, who's kind of the head of the snake for this Idaho State team, uh, you kind of neutralized her a great job in the one-on-one -on -one matchup with Carly Wilson. Thank you. I agree. I, that was a key for us because she really hurt us in Pocatello, so we really focused. We changed our defense. You know, We didn't go under the ball screens. We went over the ball screens, and we were going to make her make a shot with a hand in her face, and we did a great job with that today. Well, I know you want to be a part of this celebration, <laughs> so uh, uh, get ready to put on your dancing shoes and Absolutely. have fun on Selection Monday. All right. Thank you. All right, John. <laughs>